my name's Mina and I'm a member of the History, Health and Happiness team at Heritage Doncaster. To mark Mental Health Awareness Week, which is nature theme this year for 2021, we're going to be bringing you a mindful and very relaxing lavender painting activity. Now, this was um, part of a session um, in our museum make along um, where we talk about history and we do an activity related to a craft. Um, and for that session, it was actually nature themed too, so it fits perfectly. Um, and I hope you enjoy it as much as the participants did as well. And I hope it can bring you a moment of calm um, or just a, a moment of joy um, in a busy day or in a not a busy day. Um, and it's suitable for beginners. It's suitable for people who are more experienced with watercolours as well. And I'm going to guide you through it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is talk about what materials you need for the session. You will need watercolour paint, a round brush, plain paper, ideally watercolour, but whatever you've got in the house will do. A glass of water for mixing your brush, a palette or a plate for mixing, and a square of kitchen roll will come in handy too. Right, so this is what we're going to be painting. So we're painting some lavender. Um, lavender, we might be painting one lavender, you might want to paint fields of lavender, it's up to you. Um, and the reason why we chose lavender is because it's a very relaxing and soothing um, flower that you may have used yourself to aid sleep or, you know, when you're having a relaxing bath. Um, and it also connects to a bit of World War One history too. So lavender was used in the field hospitals during World War I. Um, it had many purposes to soothe and calm the troops um, who obviously were suffering a lot of trauma and perhaps also some of the medical staff as well would, would be in need of, of some soothing lavender. Um, secondly, and the most grim reason was to hide the stench of war, the gangrene, smells associated with field hospitals. Um, and finally, it was also used as an antiseptic to sterilise equipment too. So that's the historical link to lavender. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna get started with the painting. So we're gonna start by um, mixing some paint, some lavender colour in on, onto a plate. Um, so if you're using block paints, just make sure you add a bit of water just to activate the pigments. Um, and what I want to encourage you to do when you're doing this activity is really enjoy um, using the water and using the colours. Um, maybe you can even practice mindful breathing um, as you're doing it. So yeah, um, also in nature, um, things come in many different colours and there's many different shades of lavender. So feel free to experiment with, with the colours. Um, there's no right or wrong. Um, and see what you come up with. There's already a lavender type colour on here, but if you don't have like a very varied palette, maybe one a bit more like this, then um, you know you can still create some wonderful colours with just a few colours, um, and just enjoy enjoy mixing them, enjoy blending with water. You know, water is very soothing in itself. I mean, a high percentage of our body is made up from water, and um, it's it's just very calming to see those colours mix. So just enjoy, enjoy blending them. Um, we could get started with painting. I'll show you how to do it. So you're gonna hold your brush, you're gonna use your round brush and you're gonna hold it at a slight angle. And you're gonna hold it at an angle um, maybe about 30 degrees and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pressing and lifting with the brush so I'm just going to move my palette out the way and put the um, put the paper in, sh in shot so you can see um, I've used a block of watercolour paper here um, so yeah if I've got a bit too much just experiment with how much water you have in the brush watercolour is all about blending the right amount of pigment and water together. Just experiment at what works best for you. Um, make sure you've got a good amount of pigment on your brush and you're going to start at the top. And what you're going to do is you're going to start, imagine you're starting at the top of the lavender and you're going to work your way down and you're going to hold your brush at an angle and you're going to press and lift. And what you'll see with watercolour is 
a bit of the pigment stays in one side and you can kind of play around with that pigment um, as you see fit. You could go over areas again if you want, um, but you're starting at the top of the lavender and you're working your way down and you're going to imagine that there's a stem running down and you're following that imaginary stem. If some of the bits of the petals are facing you, you'd kind of have them facing you like that. You might press them that way. Um, so you've got some sort of head-on shots of the, of the lavender petals. Have a play around with the pigments. things dry a little bit if you want to come back so you might want to get on with the next lavender and then you could go back in and add a bit of contrast you could add a bit more darker pigment to one side where there might be a bit of shadow later on but that is pretty much that's your lavender um, and that's done you've got your leaves there as well and you can have a go at painting a whole field of these lavenders and um, you could go back in and you could you might want to add a bit more to the, a bit more pigment or a bit more bit more colour but I think that does the job and I found that very calming and very relaxing and hopefully you will too. I'm going to show you some beautiful examples of herbarium from the Heritage Doncaster collection that inspired this flower painting session. Herbarium is the name given for the collection or storage of dried plants and it is a valuable resource for botanists and scientists. In the Victorian era Building an herbarium was considered a respectable pursuit for women interested in science and it became quite a popular pastime. These lovely examples were collected from the 1800s but also in the 1960s and 1970s to show the biodiversity of Hatfield Moors. This important natural habitat was being decimated due to peak, peak extraction and it is now a protected nature reserve. Perhaps these images might encourage you to go on a wildflower walk or inspire you to paint other flowers and plants. What do you think of them? We hope you enjoyed this lavender painting activity. If you'd like to learn more about Heritage Doncaster and history, health and happiness activities, then you can check out our website, which has lots of resources, including downloadable activity packs and blog articles. I'll put the link with this video. Thank you, stay well and goodbye for now.